down here to check. Hmm? No, but the, the dirt is stirred up super hard right here. Something must have just swam through. Anyway, we're going to check the trap down here in this beaver dam I have set up. Nice bunch of the hole in the dam. And then we're going to trap right here. And I could see from the road that I had something in it. And it's a beaver. It's not a very big one. It's a small one, but it's still a beaver. Better than nothing. I keep this video running. And we'll just get this beaver on the track. Actually, well, it's not as small as I thought it was. Still not a monster, but I'll take it. I wasn't really sure if this trap was going to produce either. Because a 280, I didn't have any 330s that I could upset. So I put the 280 in. And this guy was over the last few days. But he never got in the trap because I didn't think the trap was big enough. But now I know it's big enough. And let me show you the set that I had to do. Big hole that I have torn up in the dam here. This uh, it wasn't like this before. I just broke the hole so I could fit the trap in there. I had it set. I had it right in here, right like this. And I had the um, the sticks on either side of them, on either side of it. So he had no, he couldn't go around. He had to go right through. I guess that's. That's it. It was a bunch of crap he yeah, had in the pond here. He's been pooping all around here all year. And I'm pretty sure there's another beaver in here, so I'm gonna reset this trap. Anyways, see you guys later.